Good morning. It's good to be with you on this Friday morning, uh, reminding you that we are open for worship this Sunday morning at 1015 here at Grace Point Church here in Napanee, and uh, you are welcome to join us. You're welcome to attend. We're continuing our series in the Psalms, and Psalm 139 is our text this week, so please join us. You are invited to worship with us this Sunday morning at 1015 here at Grace Point Church here in Napanee. And we privilege that we have this Sunday, as every Sunday, to hear God's word proclaimed for us, the promise of God's word, the declaration of God's word. God's word looks at this world and looks at our culture and our society and everything going on around us, and it speaks truth into it. God is defining what is going on in this world, and God defines you and me. God is the one who demonstrates and describes uh, who we are and how we should see ourselves. So we see ourselves in the light of the gospel. We see ourselves in light of the work of Jesus dying on the cross for our sins and making us members of that forever family of God. This is the truth of God's word. This is the proclamation of God's word. God's word is describing God's people. And one of the best places we can go for that is a, a verse that Paul includes in Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. This is a, telling us about who we are now and who we will be in the future. And this is God's word declared for us. And this word is a word that we will use this Sunday as we consider our assurance of pardon here at Grace Point Church. Philippians chapter 3, verses 20 and 21. And this is God's word. But our citizenship is in heaven. And we eagerly await a Savior from there, the Lord Jesus Christ, who by the power that enables him to bring everything under his control will transform our lowly bodies so that they will be like his glorious body. We eagerly await the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, the return of our Savior. We, we look forward to it expectantly. Uh, we anticipate it. Um, we are looking forward to the day when Jesus indeed returns. What we know is what God's word declares for us. Our citizenship is in heaven. So for those who have placed their faith and trust in Christ, Christ has already secured membership in the family of God, already secured a place in heaven, an eternal place that will never go away. This will never change. This will, never, this will not be a rug pulled out from underneath your feet. This is not a promise that's good for a while, but then has some sort of expiration date later on. This is the promise of God's word for God's people granted to us by the grace and mercy of the Lord Jesus Christ. Our citizenship, God's word says, our citizenship is in heaven. And so believers in Jesus, rest and be assured of this most blessed truth. Your sins are forgiven and your life is redeemed through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior.